Okay, so this video is going to go for pretty much all Android phones. Basically, you have an issue where you have like basically a black screen. Maybe you can see some LED lights come on. Maybe you can hear it ring. Maybe you can feel it vibrate, but you still have a black screen. Maybe you have a black screen with an X on it. Or maybe your phone is totally unresponsive, or maybe it, it's frozen, or it keeps freezing. Or maybe perhaps you're in a boot loop. Maybe your phone keeps restarting every like five seconds or one minute, three minutes where every now and then it just keeps restarting. Well, I'm going to show you uh, pretty much 14 different steps what you guys can do to get your phone up and running. And this is going to help most of you guys. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what Android phone you have uh, and whether you have a removable battery or a non-removable battery on your phone. Okay. I mean, this goes for Samsung Galaxy phones, uh, HTC, Sony Xperia's, LG's. The only thing is some of these steps are not going to work uh, appropriately for certain models but what I want you guys to do is follow me on every single step and just try what you can okay first thing is first okay so step number one is try this what we want to do is we want to hold down two buttons simultaneously it's going to be the volume down button and the home button now of course this is Samsung Galaxy S7 as an example but depending on what phone you have you may have the volume like this is a HTC One A9 here HTC One A9 the volume rocker is on the right side and the power button is on the right side as well anyways First thing to do is hold down the volume down and the power button. Press and hold simultaneously, okay? And pretend there's something wrong with my phone. Maybe my, my screen is totally black. Just hold both buttons down and wait till it boots up until you get your phone's logo to pop up. Once it pop up, go ahead and let go. Hopefully, you know, and then play around with your phone. Hopefully your phone is back up and running. Now, if it is, this, the thing you wanna do next is go ahead and just clear or delete or remove your cache partition. Wipe your cache partition. And how to do that, depending on what phone you have, look it up on on, um, on YouTube or Google and just look up your phone model and how to wipe cache partition. Wiping the cache partition, guys, it's not going to delete anything important, any videos or photos or documents or anything. The only thing it's gonna do is it's going to delete your temporary junk files. Okay, and it's always good to do that every once in a while as well, especially when you get like a new system update, it's always good to clear everything up, especially if you're having like lag issues and stuff like that. Okay, anyways, so if this step didn't work for you guys, step number two is very similar, and I'm gonna talk fast through this video because a lot of these steps are very redundant, okay? So step number two, you wanna go ahead and get your USB cable. Now I would prefer to use like a laptop, okay? I would prefer you not to use a uh, wall adapter, but if that's the only thing you have, then go ahead and use it because a lot of times these will be faulty as well. Anyways, pop it into your uh, your laptop and go ahead and plug your phone in. And then from here, you wanna do the same thing again, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna press and hold down two buttons simultaneously, the volume down and the power button. Press and hold both of these buttons simultaneously. I don't know, pretend my screen's black again or whatever. Wait the phone boots up until you see your logo and then let it go. See if your phone works fine. If it is, then go ahead and wipe your cache partition. Okay, now if it doesn't, we're gonna to go to step number three. Step number three, and several of these steps are gonna be very, very similar. Okay, so I'm gonna talk kind of fast. Uh, so the third step basically is this. What you wanna do this time is you wanna, um, instead of pressing the uh, volume down button, we wanna press the volume up button, okay? So this time we're gonna press two buttons. It's gonna be the volume up power button simultaneously okay one two three press and hold continue to hold until your phone boots up some of your phones will not boot up all depending on what model phone you have okay if it does boot up go into your phone everything looks great then go ahead and wipe your cache partition if it doesn't work then we're going to go step number four step number four this time we're going to do the same thing except this time we're going to give it some power okay so give it some juice plug it in same thing volume up power button press and hold Continue to wait till your phone boots up and you see your logo. Hopefully your phone is up and running. If it is, again, wipe your cache partition. If it doesn't work, we're gonna to go to step number five. Okay, and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna press three buttons. It's gonna be the volume up, volume down, and the power button at the same time. Okay, so what you gotta do is kind of figure out how you wanna do it depending on where your volume buttons are and power button are, are on uh, your particular phone. So press and hold, volume up, volume down, and power button. All three buttons at the same time. And can you continue to hold until your phone reboots? Some of your phones will do absolutely nothing depending on what brand phone you have. Okay, now once this boots up, hopefully your phone is up and running the way it's supposed to. Again, go ahead and wipe your cache partition. If it's not, we're gonna go to the next step. This time, again, give it some power. Go ahead and plug it in. And again, press the volume up, volume down, and the power button all simultaneously at the same time press and hold
Okay, if that doesn't work, then we're going to go step number nine. Step number nine, we do this. This time we, what we're going to do is hold three buttons, but it's going to be the volume up, the home button, and the power button. Okay, now some phones, you will not have a um, home button, so you can skip this step. Like this is the HTC, I think this is a, a M8 here. There's no home button here, okay? The Samsung here, I do have a home button. So again, what, have, what I want to do here is press the volume up, home button, power button. Three buttons simultaneously, same time. One, two, three, press and hold. Wait for it to reboot. Again, depending on what kind of phone you have, it may do absolutely nothing. Okay, if your phone does reboot, great. Hopefully your phone is back up and running. If it is, then next thing you want to do is go ahead and wipe your cache partition. If it's, if it's not, then we go to the next step. Step number 10, same thing, except this time again, go ahead and plug it in. Plug it in, and then you want to do the same thing. You want to go ahead and press and hold the volume up, home button, and the power button. Press and hold and continue to do so until your phone boots back up. If it doesn't work, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so step number 11. What we do this time is we want to press down the volume. It's three buttons again, but this time we're going to hold down the volume. Volume down, home, power. Press and hold all the three buttons. Same time, wait for your phone to boot back up. Hopefully it does. Everything is working order. Then go ahead and wipe your cache partition afterwards. If it's not, do the same thing again, okay? So this would be step number 12. Go ahead and give it some power this time. And again, same thing. Hold down the volume down button, the home button, and the power button. Press and hold simultaneously. Wait for your phone to reboot. Now I'm doing all these steps, uh, guys, again, because I'm trying to streamline every Android phone out there, or most Android phones, okay? Rather than working with one particular phone. Okay, if that doesn't work, we're going to go to step number 13. Actually, I have 15 steps for you, 15 steps for you guys, okay? So here is number 13. The thir number 13 is I call the one, two, three method, okay? Now, first of all, if you have a phone that has a removable battery, go ahead and remove it, okay? Just like this. Now, if you have a phone that doesn't that is, has a non-removable battery, it's okay. Just leave it just like this, okay? And what we're going to do here basically is we're going to discharge all the excess battery in your phone. Same thing if you guys ever have a laptop where it has like a black screen or has an issue with, with your um, your laptop, you can pop the battery out, press and hold the power button for like one minute, two minutes, and three minutes, and you know your display will come back on. Same thing with a phone here, except for the non-removable batteries, um, I've had a lot of phones that actually worked without me having to pull um, a battery out of a non-removable battery. Of course, you can take it out if you if you take every if you um, dismantle the phone. Anyways, you have your battery out. Press and hold the power button. Press and hold for one minute. Okay. After one minute is up, go ahead and pop your battery back in. Power up your phone, and hopefully your phone is back up and running. If it's not, pop it out again. Then you want to press and hold the power button for two minutes this time. Okay. Then pop your battery back in, and then see if your phone works. And if that doesn't work, you try for three minutes. That's why it's called the one, two, three method. And the same thing with your non-removable. Uh, battery for your phone, like my S7 here doesn't have a removable battery, just do the same thing. Just press and hold. Press and hold for one minute, okay? Then go ahead and, you know, let go, make sure everything's up. If, not work, if, if it's still not working, just press and hold for, for two minutes. Just just do it. Two minutes. That doesn't work. Press and hold for three minutes, okay? Okay, now if that doesn't work, we're going to go to option number 14, and this is what I call the smack method. What you basically want to do here if you can remove your battery, go ahead. If you can't, like my S7, that's fine. So basically what you want to do, it's possible that you may have a, it could be a jammed or loose power button. So what you want to do is find where your power button is and you kind of want to bang it somewhere. Okay, give it a few tries. Like I said, if you, you can take out your battery, take it out. If you can't, then that's fine. Go ahead and give that a couple wax and then try to boot up your phone, try to put it on, see if it works. If it doesn't, you can go a little bit harder. You can get like a, smack it on a book or like an edge of a table, or you can get like a soft cloth or something, kind of cover the power button and hit it against, make sure that power, you're hitting the power button like somewhere. You know, you want to really, you really want to give it some smacks. And, you know, like I said, a lot of times, you know, the third time's the charm. So you may want to continue to try this step over and over until your phone is back in working order. Okay, now we're going to go to the last step, which is actually the uh, 15th step. But remember, if none of these steps works, what you want to do is go back and do every single one of these steps again. Because there were many times where it took me a few times 
one of these methods to get the phone up and running. Sometimes it even took me six or seven times before the phone actually came alive, okay? So the last method is this. Basically, if, like a, same thing again. If you can take out your battery, take it out. If you can't, then just leave it in here, okay? But what you want to do here, it's possible that you may have some connections loose in your phone, especially if you have a black screen display or maybe a lot of times even if you have a camera dis, um, issue, you know, a camera will come on or it's like blurry. It could be the front facing camera. It could be the back facing camera. Anyways, this is what you want to do. Grab both hands and what you want to do is you want to press hard all along your phone. Now, most of the time it's going to be you know, you may have a LCD uh, connector that might be loose or dislodged, like up here. But depending on what phone you have, it may be in different places. So what you want to do is press down all over, all over the phone. Okay. Oh, my SIM card just came out. All over. And then after that, put your battery back in, power up your phone, try it again. If not, take it back out and try it again. Same thing if you don't have a, um, a removable battery, do the same thing, okay? You want to press like everywhere, guys. You know, you want to make sure you, you get in there, press the back part, the front part, all over your phone. Take your time with this, okay? Because numerous times I have gotten phones up where people thought they would need like an LCD replacement and actually this solved the problem, but they never had an issue again. Just press all over the screen hard. And that's pretty much it for these 15 steps. If, you have, if any of these work for you, please comment below like what number it work, worked for you. I have all the descriptions below, uh, which each um, option, each number, you can indicate what phone you have, what number worked for you. And if this worked for you, if you guys subscribe, share, like, I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.